nothing is wrong with you ever but you have to understand this and you have to master this you know because it also wants to be here so you have everything going for you that you exist is already the evidence of god's grace <laughs> Are you one step up from where I last talked with you, or you step back? I can ask you this. Yes. Yeah. Um, I had like a big back. Mm -hmm. What caused that? Come closer. It was a combination of things that, um, of course, the thing that always gets me got me again. It found the way in. Um, this feeling of not doing it right, you know, like failing, doing something wrong. Mm -hmm. um, before that can happen, before that can happen, something else is there that you didn't catch. Yeah, and I think I saw um, that there was still this. There was something that. Thought, okay, I, I've I've been over this. Um, you know, like uh, now I cannot go back to the way of the mind. It felt so strong and it felt so true for such a long time that there was something still this I that was there. But it's always going to come for a while. I yeah. mean, everyone here experiences I in the form of person that it come, it come. Yeah. So I'm not spending time in that in that country where that I live so mm -hmm. much. But behind this, is there not space behind this? Yeah. You can speak of your your yourself and your life and your situations and come. You should come over here as well. Come over, and uh, you can speak of these things. Let me tell you something. You know, I'm coming here. If, wherever I go, I never regard anything as a mistake. Like, I'm meant to stop here today, and I'm meant to see you. And you, and you, are everybody who is like this. What will come out of it, I don't know. But that's how the energy of life, of God, move for me. So, I never regard something as, ah, no, it doesn't happen. If, what if it's there? It's there. And, uh, and my heart is uh, recognized that. And, and seeks to serve whatever it is. No? Uh, what you share is that you have... Um, the only thing that can fail in you is your identity and person. Mm -hmm. It's the only thing. Uh, and with the help of the mind and your identity. So, you know that. Hi, Santa. You know that. Mm -hmm. So, apart from our mind, and your personal identity, okay? Is that all that exists? Is that all that exists? I can ask anybody here that. It's the same. It's not just personal to you. We can talk about ourselves as our personal identity and your life and its world, mm -hmm. your mind and all of this, you know? Because that's where you're speaking from this place. Like, I had this really high moment, at a good moment, I spoke with you. It was like something clear, mm -hmm. and then I said, "How have you been since I spoke with you?" When something happened like this, okay. Now, if you understood and saw the place I'm speaking to in you, this don't mean nothing. This don't mean nothing. Neither does this mean something. It doesn't mean anything because these are movements that are not permanent. That is to do with the mind and your identity. It's like this in the life. Sometimes it is, sometimes it's down. Sometimes it's tough minutes, you don't forget. So it's just really this feeling that when you recognize uh, something that's so clear for a while. Yes. What did you recognize that was clear? Tell me. What did you recognize that was clear? What, what, what was it? What happened? Yeah, everything just was not. Not coming in, you yeah. know, like um, yeah. 
actually it was not touching something. Yeah. There's something in you that is not touched. It doesn't belong to the world. Yeah. It's not touched by mm -hmm. your moods and the world and people shouting, you say, you stupid woman. It's like you can hear that, you can feel also some reaction, but it's not that. It's independent of that. Mm -hmm. That space is the only thing about you that's permanent. Yeah. This body will go, your senses will get not so good, mind will go, all, all these things will go. Except yeah, this. This, was, this yeah. was so, so clear. So you know? that was clear. Yeah. Yes. But then when it didn't feel so clear anymore, yeah. then of course it's. When it that didn't feel so clear, that feeling of not being clear was also perceived in yeah. this. But I couldn't. I couldn't so much anymore. And this, this the one who couldn't do it was the one that came from the mind. Yes. <laughs> yeah. You know, it has to be. And you know, I'm not disappointed, you know, because I know that we have to go through this. You have to taste failure. You have to taste what it's like to be back in your mind when you've been in your heart. Yeah. Doesn't feel good, does it? No, but, it feels but terrible. you know that's not your real place. Yeah. And um, so all these things, God gives you this ride. You know, you're going to experience until you, your choice and your ability stabilize more and more gradually. So don't be disappointed about that. What you're speaking from is when you go back into your mind, into mm -hmm. your identity, and then the identity comes back and something feels, oh no, okay? Yeah. But there's something that's underneath all of that that's still not touched. It's not. It, it doesn't. It's not. It's not affected by disappointment that you're back in your mind. It's not. A, it's a clear space of being, and you have to practice that. Yeah. Yeah. Meaning that you know, <coughs> when you get challenged, and your tree is shaking, your leaves fall off. You have to stay. <laughs> stay with this. I think this was my most frustration, like big frustration, that because it's so beautiful, you know, mm. that. Like being pulled in again. You know, you know, tell something. You see that thing that happened, that whatever, <laughs> whatever threw you into the ah. Yeah. That I, darling, that actually was very short. But what happened is you, you are living afterwards in disappointment. Yeah. So you are supporting that. Yeah. The actual thing that anything just happened for a little bit, but then something goes oh no, no, it's happened, and you are living in that remorse. Mm -hmm. That's something you have to watch. That that also. Is not this. Your person, good or bad, is still not this. The best person in the world is still not this. It's only it's only experiencing. You know? It's very important. No? And so my role in your life is just keep reminding you. And don't let because there's always a force in the human world. Mm -hmm. That is distracting you from here, mm -hmm. okay? And or it feels like it's distracting you from here because we have lived a long time in this in this identity, yeah. and with all of its bad habits and all of that. And when now you're called by a voice, you're called by God's voice, no? Then this thing comes, but you must not regard that as a failure. It's a chance for you to strengthen your discernment. It's not a failure, yeah. you know, because nothing can oppose God actually. But in your mind, you say, "Oh no, this thing is no, no, no." You have to develop spiritual muscles to to experience these things, and to to not lose your your ground. Yeah. Just to say, "No," but I can see all this. Everything you experience is gone. Can you go back to yesterday and relive yesterday? Can you take it and show it what it's like? No. So everything, even this morning, you got up, you have left it behind. This morning is gone. Last night is gone, and every other moment before that, going right back to the birth of this body, all of them is gone. The only thing is here is your being. Yeah. And that is your space, you know? and so you, are you been doing the exercise I give you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are still doing? Yeah, I do it. Like I had so I had a time where it was really like. Going through these strong emotions, then yeah. I was like, no, I'm gonna. Because get you up fell into this, even again. listen, strong emotions are just strong emotions. <laughs> yes, they, they, I know. You will experience, and <laughs> and it's your mind and your person that's experiencing them, yeah. not your being. Yeah. yeah.
So if you have strong emotions, just see that you don't get too much into the reaction with yeah. it. It's just because you can't, you don't know what the next emotion is going to be. Yeah. Nobody, not, not me. Nobody knows what the next emotion is going to be, what your next problem is going to be, what your next thought is going to be. And you don't need to know if you're here. It's okay, they can come and they go. But when they come, they sort of evoke in you identity again. And so what you're suffering from, you're suffering from identity. And you don't need to, it will go, it will go. And also, I want you to know that I'm with you, you know? It's God's grace that bring me here. Yeah. Because listen, I, 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 I don't really need to stop here for coffee. Just to remind you, remind you, nothing is wrong. Okay? Nothing is wrong. It's just your the mind's going to, ah, this, oh, my life is falling. It's rubbish. It's not true. This, this, this is your eternal. This is momentary. Everything is momentary. I know, I know. I yeah. Also, so, I know, you. that's why I also, when I have this wave, you know, I, from the start, I'm sort of roller coasting <laughs> through this. Every, every human being, <laughs> okay, who woke up to the reality went through what you're going through. Every one of them. Don't think that somebody was as better than you. <laughs> they all experienced these waves of whoa, turbulence and so on, but they came to understand, wait a second, they are strong because my identity with them is strong. I, I'm, I'm living in the identity and, and the character of a, a, a person. That's okay. So the exercise that I give you now that you say, please stay with it. Because you know it's it's very simple, it's very direct, it's not conceptual, it's very you know, but you must practice it. It will help to take you out of your head. Yeah. You only suffer when you go in your head. I know, I don't want to. And all suffering in the world, okay, is created by ego, by personal identity. Apart from that there's no suffering in the world. And you have to come out. Yeah. I I I am insisting on you that you have to come out and soon yes. <laughs> like, like now <laughs> it just learn to drop things you know it doesn't ma matter how you feel okay it doesn't matter how you feel your mind is thinking oh you know it's things it's been so difficult you are you're creating that you're yeah. you're saying that that's important it's not doesn't matter what is important is that you realize whatever comes is come and goes, and something is here that doesn't come and go. It's just always here. Before your first experience, it is here, and it never changes. It will never go. Your body will go, your mind will go. It will never go, and you need to be aware of this. Because all of this, you're not having a worse time than anybody else in the world. Look, we are living in a country. You're not poor, you're not begging on the street. Actually, these people are also very, very blessed also. But as soon as you just don't fall for this guy, don't fall for this this thing. You just say, okay, you know, everyone, there's no one, the king of a country, a great emperor, the queen of England, it doesn't matter who it is. They have these things you experience. Yeah. But they just learn how to how to how to how to look at it from the right perspective, you know. Nothing is wrong with you, ever. But you have to understand this, and you have to master this, you know? Because it also wants to be here. Yes. But to get here is going to fight. You understand? You, see, you have everything going for you. That you exist is already the evidence of God's grace. <laughs> We just live. We are just suffering from wrong ideas. That's all. It's wrong, stupid ideas, or not even so. You know, you should be like that. That any stupid idea can come, just that you don't go off with it. Because if you have doubt in yourself, the devil knows what what thoughts to send to you. Just tell you, you're not gonna make it. You're useless. You know, you don't have what it takes. Why? Because you are a believer. You're a believer in the bullshit of your mind. Your mind is a church, do you know? You go to that church every day to suffer. 
it's just not true. It can come. And the more we are identified, the more we identify, the more it, it just stays. It's just going to come out. So you stay with the exercise I give you. Yeah. Mm. I'm doing this in yeah. early morning. <laughs> and listen, you're not on your own. Yeah. You know, everything that's good in the universe is supporting your trans transcending of this. Because you can keep on going with this, life after life. We all leave this one time, you leave this, but your soul uh, you, you never dies. It just takes on another body and carry on more experiencing. Yeah. But, but what I'm sharing is to come off this wheel of samsara, of suffering. You know? And it's not difficult, but it's going to take some a push to, you know, you have a child. You know, you've had childbirth. <laughs> what I'm sharing is 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 a bit like you have to yeah. keep pushing. <laughs> reborn in. Well, it's not pushing. Keep staying. Yeah. Don't get pulled into all that yeah. stuff and and bring your attention back into the uh, into awareness. You learn to stay into awareness. It's miraculous. You know, it's miraculous. Because I'm not giving you a lot of teachings now. Just saying, just just do this. Yeah. You know, and. It, it might seem simple, but it's only simple for those that life is prepared for this time for you to do that. Many people are going, what is he talking about? They can't. But for you, you ought to be able to hear this and just follow this, stay with it. Cleans everything and re reshapes and re um, orients your, your world, your mind into your heart. It's, yeah. it's not difficult. When I use the, the, met the metaphor of the sky, you know. It's so clean, you know. But the sky. When I say sky, what are we talking about? When I say the sky, what are we talking about? You know, the space that you look up into is the same space you are. Yeah. You know, the sky is not space that's up there. It's, it's, it's everywhere. And actually, all these effects are there. The clouds, the sun, the moon, everything is there. But nothing sticks. And it's like your being is like that. It's just totally, total intelligence, pure being. You're watching everything that's come, but you have to learn to not identify with it and take it too personally. Everybody who comes in this world, we we get a an ID card, you know. I am this body. I am so and so, and because we have to learn to experience that, and then to experience that without losing this. But once we experience this, it's like you lose contact with this, and then you're in trouble. We're all in trouble. All planet is in trouble. But I can say one thing: nothing is above God. You know, somehow in all of it, there is a there is a great wisdom in all of it. All the suffering, all the pain, there is a great wisdom, and uh, it's always oh, whoa, good, 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 and all, all, all of it somehow. All these things will drop away. You're going to see that you've always been living in grace. But I want you to see it while it's going on. Don't mind so much. Thank you, all of you. We have a we have a program in England. I don't know if it's like that still. It should be. You know, it's a thing that says equal opportunities. It's a kind of like a, a gesture from the government, so an outlook, you know, philosophy. Everybody should have equal opportunities. So it's a good time. And I realize everyone has equal opportunities to wake up. Everybody. It just depends on where your head is at, how much identity we have. You know? And I really mean that. You, know? that you, don't have to, you don't have to be rich to wake up. You don't have to be in Europe to wake up. You don't have to be poor to wake up. You don't have to be a man to wake up. You don't have to be. There's no thing that stops you from waking up apart from at some point. Well, there is something because. We are all on a different evolutionary, you know, maturity. Some people, we don't all start off at the same point. You know? Some people, they are young souls and they still have to learn a lot. And so in their world, it feels completely right. But I feel everybody who comes to satsang is because uh, the universal consciousness is ready to transition into from person into presence. I have to have this attitude. You know, I can't go to there are many people I can't go and talk like this to them because they're not ready. And I don't I'm not forceful. I can only share with you because your beingness um, 
permits me to say yes I want to talk with you and like this and make use of the this this our conversations are always darshan you know? always for the highest you know? it's been very nice to see see you guys um, yeah so good, 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 good.